I'm just done a quick video for you today. I'm going to take these off the board now and then I'll show you the difference. I mean, you've seen this one sort of a few times on video now, but if I put it next to something more solid, it might be good for you to see, get an appreciation of the difference. So I'm just going to take all these pins out and dot them. I should be putting them in my little dish really, but I'll just dot them around here for now and put them in my little dish later. I'm trying to do it quite quickly as well because I don't want this to go on forever. So, unpin, 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 unpin. And I will try and get some pictures because the sun's just come out, so I might be lucky. It's been really dark so far this morning. Right, so that's the first one unpinned. Okay, I love things when the damp stretch. They have kind of like a really much firmer body to them, almost like a finish on them, even though they're not got anything on them in that sense, like starch or anything, God forbid. I would never do that to my work. And maybe I should have unpinned these first, but it's not going to take me long. Oh, that one's popped out, ready for somebody to stand on later. Take these out. So on this one here, it's just something I picked up, like I said, because my threads have disappeared, gone walkabout in the mail. I rang up about them today and they were waiting for some more coming in, but they're going to send me what they've got at the moment to keep me going until the rest come in. So that's good because I was beginning to think I needed to go into rehab because I had withdrawals. So I've been using the pearl on this. Whereas obviously I didn't want to use the pearl on this because it's all done with broader and broader's matte and I don't suddenly want to introduce something with a sheen on it onto this one. So right, I'm nearly done. Sorry about this. Don't know why I didn't do this first. Because that would have been too logical. Right, so that's both of them off now. See all these pins going on the floor, I'm gonna stand on them after. So there, that one's much more solid. That's kind of cotton and vintage linen. The few prairie points in there and a nice lace edge there. You see that? And then that's the other one. And look at the difference, the lightness. Obviously, there's a massive difference in those two. So it's quite, not strange, but it's a nice contrast to work on this. It's so light and delicate and quite, fiddly in a way to work on because there's not a lot of surface going on to get a base for anything then to move on to something like this that's quite solid and thick and your fingers get a bit of a shock at first and you put your needle oh that hurt you know that won't go through there very easy whereas if you imagine putting a needle through there it's like goes through that like butter so this isn't part of my cloth this is a piece that i'm embellishing um, and i'm going to cut this up to add bits of it to my bigger cloth. So as soon as my broader comes, I can start back on that. And then this is something, as I say, that i am kind of got to one side really, but that if I need something to pick up, I can do that and that'll come in useful when I start embroider embellish create in November. So that's just the two contrasting pieces of work now lifted off the board. And as I said, I'll try and take a photograph 